This is my new camera, what do you think? It's um, you can't see it, I know that, but what do you think of the frame? I'm not sure, I, I, I like it, I think it's very clear, but it's very hot in Barcelona still. And um, you can probably still see me sweating a bit, so it's the risk you take, isn't it? Um, it's too hot in there. Let's see what it's like in here. Um, I was in the kitchen looking for some objects. As a, as a language teacher, I've always had a fascination with compound nouns. I don't know why, but um, my favourite kind of compound noun, and there were quite a few of them in my kitchen, are what you can call thing doers. Let me give you an example. This is a lighter, it's a doer. The verb is to light, it's a lighter, a doer. And we associate it mostly, I suppose, with cigarettes. So the thing is a cigarette, it's a cigarette lighter, a thing doer. Um, I've got some more here. And if you learn English, then I want you to try and identify what these objects are. They are all thing doers. Are you ready for this? Okay. This isn't mine, by the way. So how was that? Was that difficult? Was it easy? Um, I'm going to give you the answers. Before I do, bear in mind that these are my answers. Other people may refer to these objects in different ways. You can never be sure. Okay, here's the answers. Now something that interests me is the equivalent construction that Spanish uses. Um, this is not a bottle opener, it's an open bottles, un abre botellas. And these are not skyscrapers, they are scrape skies, rasca cielos. And these are not grasshoppers, they are jump mountains, um, saltamontes. <laughs> which I was like. And sometimes English will decide that an object like this is a thing doer, a coat hanger, but in Spanish it doesn't. This is not a cuelga abrigos, it's just una percha. And it works the other way around. For example, this here in English is not a thing doer. 
but in Spanish it is. It's um, a stopwaters, paraguas, which I kind of like. So those are thing doers. If we want to be technical, then it's a kind of verb-centered compound noun. Um, as a teacher, I've I've taken a whole bunch of these objects into my classroom, um, and once students have been aware of this 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 construction, this structure, a cigarette lighter, their task is then to be creative and try and guess what each object is called. And it's a lot of fun. Um, last week I made a video called. What was it called? Miss Imaging. I'll put the link up there or down there or somewhere around here. And the idea is that a miss image is a miscommunication when A puts the wrong kind of image in B's head, often with comical results. If you do this activity, there will be a lot of miss imaging. And that's kind of what makes it fun. Here's my favorite one ever. It involves this. This is not a back scratcher, but one student decided that it was a spaghetti catcher, and that made me laugh because this is the image that came into my head. <laughs> spaghetti catcher, I love that. Thanks for watching, and um, see you next time. Bye bye.